Hello, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today, um, this came in the post. Um, it's the Twisby. It's the new rose gold um, Taiwan something something edition. Um, let's just go ahead and open it up. So I've actually wrote a letter to myself. So this was supposed to be my end of trimester present. And look how cute this is. It's handwritten. So I said it's from your not so secret admirer. It's actually from me. <laughs> Congrats on successfully completing T2. You have one more trimester to go. You got this. So proud of how far you've come. Enjoy this fountain pen. So it's so cute. This is just a little message from me. <laughs> it's just pretty much a reason to buy this fountain pen. Ta-da! It's so classic. The white rose gold didn't come like this at all. So this is quite luxurious already. It's like an Apple Watch. It remind, I feel like I'm unboxing an Apple Watch. Ah, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm just trying to be careful not to, because this scissors is quite sharp. I nearly cut myself. Oh dear Lord. Oh yeah, so it's the Twisby, no, it doesn't say. I forgot what it's called. It's something to do with a horse. <laughs> uh, give me, give me, give me a second. Alright. Wow, it does feel like an Apple Watch. Apple, Apple product. Oh gosh. Wow. Okay, so we get this first. Oh my goodness. I didn't know it comes with ink. So it came with ink, midnight blue. I wish this was blue, but it does fit their red branding. My hands are already filled with ink. I changed some ink this morning and holy moly. Oh, it's not as easy to. This is the pen. Wow. It's so luxurious. Okay, so I've got my white rose gold um, Twisby here. And the main thing that's popping out to me is that the inside barrels are different. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they look so good together. Isn't that just sexy? Okay, so if I open it, it's also rose gold like that. I think I got the fine nib this time. So my white one is an extra fine. I tend to like the finer nibs, but I've been wanting to see more of the, um, yeah, more of the ink, ink's characteristic. So I opted for a fine. This is so gorgeous. Okay, and the inside it comes with what's it called? This little thingy majiggy and the oil, oily thingy majiggy. It usually comes silicon grease. Um, it came with the white one as well, but the packaging was not as fancy as this, so it actually doesn't. What is it called? I forgot what it's called. <laughs> like the official name of this pen. I know it's limited edition of something, but um, I might have to... It's probably going to be in the title somewhere. <laughs> and then in the description. But I'm so impressed with this packaging. Um, the money that I paid for is... It wasn't that expensive. I think it was definitely worth it. Like, I think Twisby Eco is already pretty good for what it's worth. So, to pay extra for a limited edition and um, for the rose gold, I, I think it's worth it. That's just my personal opinion. This is so gorgeous. Ugh. Ugh. My god. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you the rest of my whoop, rose gold pens. 
I have the Lamy and I have the Kazleko. Um, I think that's it for now. I think these are just my pens, my rose gold ones for now. Um, and I am thinking of the Twisby, um, the diamond, the black and the the black and the rose gold one. I think that one looks really nice too. But I don't. Um, hmm. The extra money is a bit. Hmm. I'm I'm pretty happy with these. Oh my gosh, guys! Look, it's just uh, so pretty. So so pretty. Okay, so what ink am I gonna fill it up with? Hmm. Since it's October, I have the Apache Sunset here for the orange, and then I've got the black swan in Australian roses in this pen. I've got Lady Rose in here. So maybe I could go for a purple one. Yeah, a dark purple here. Oh, it's not it's not really baby. I can't believe she's mine. Alright. Well thank you guys for watching. Um Oh, maybe actually I'm going to go fill this up and then I'll be back with a writing test. All right, be back in a second. Bye. Okay. All right, so I grabbed the ink. So this one is hello, focus. Focus. Fo All right, it's not focusing. It's the Noodler's Ink Standard Violet. The reason I'm going for like the orangey and violety because my stickers this month from boombogu.com.au, the free ones, the daily stickers um, are um, Halloween themed. So they're using a lot of orange and purple. Ooh, she quite. Ah, oh, right, right, right. All right. First, gonna go down and then we're gonna go. I don't want to fill it to the max because I tend to change colors a lot. I get bored of colors a lot. The good thing about these pens though, is that like, it's so, the capacity of it is so huge. That's a good thing and a bad thing, depending on what type of fountain pen user you are. I myself like to um, change my inks quite often, so they don't get filled that much friend would you mind focusing please all right so that's what she's looking like oh it's <sighs> I don't know she's just very pretty it feels so oh duh I should have used this one I should I should have oh, oh well next time okay so let's check out some pen tests Writing test. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. All right. So, wow. It would be fine. Rose, gold, in. It's so smooth. However, it's finer than I thought like it feels like an extra fine to me so this is fine can you um, focus for a bit please 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 <laughs> all right maybe I can't zoom in too much all right that's good fine one is extra fine ah uh, yeah uh, uh, uh. all right all right this is the twisby white rose gold okay I can see it 
I wonder if it's very similar though, don't you think? I guess they're right writing wise. I'm putting ink all over this thing. I'm so sorry. Writing wise. You can tell that it is fine. And the other one is extra fine. But like you can't tell much, I guess. If you're just looking at it, this is the Caveco Extra Fine. Oh no, this one is the Fine. Hmm. Interesting. The Fine's a lot scratchier. Can't really tell the difference between the fine and the extra fine. Okay, and this one is the Lady Rose. Now the La uh, the La Mis fine is oh no, this is extra fine again. But it writes like a fine. I wonder if I'm the only one finding these things. Hmm, interesting. So maybe next time I'm gonna go for a medium because there's actually not a huge difference between a fine and an extra fine for um, Twisby anyway. Look at that ink, so pretty. Okay, well that was it for me. Thanks again for sticking around. Um, this was the Twisby. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. It's the Twisby horse edition. <laughs> It's from Taiwan. I think it's they're celebrating something. Um, I'll be sure to um, put the description in the description box below because I just got excited and I wanted to film as soon as I could. But yes, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!